I like edibles. Like it's putting a thing that I like into a thing that I love. What you gotta understand is that we 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 didn't measure. Like you could make a whole tray of brownies and not mix it right. And like one brownie is just like you gonna go to Pluto and then everybody else just gonna get like a delicious brownie. Um well, well, on this occasion, I was the one who ended up getting the Pluto brownie. Uh, and I for sure took off. Uh, I was living at the homegirl Janine's house in her garage on the couch. I think there was another dude in there. Ash, he was there too. It was one of the party houses. You know what I'm talking about? It was always, it was always going on. I think it was around the 4th of July. I know that because we had bought fireworks earlier in the day. Now, I remember telling my homie Ash that, you know, you're going to shoot your eye out with that Roman candle that you're buying. I say that like we didn't buy a lot of Roman candy. We bought a lot of Roman candy. Like too many. Too many. Anyway, so I'm back at the house. So I'm eating that brownie. Scrum diddly umptious. And then like 20 minutes later, I was, I was, I was hot. About five minutes after that, I realized it was a problem. I was just sitting at a table in the in the garage, listening to music, staring at a deck of cars. Ah, I did a motherfucker. So I was like, shit, I, I need to go in the house. It's, you know, I went into the house and I, they were watching a movie called Step Into Liquid. It's a surf movie. Now, I've only surfed five or six times in my entire life, but this movie was amazing. Something about the music and the waves, it was just, it was, it was beautiful. And I, I was also very, I was, the movie kind of regulated everything. It like, it put everything in perspective. It made me want to surf, not on the waves they were surfing on, but, but you know. The movie gets over and it's only like me and one other dude who are watching the whole movie. And then I realized, man, what's, what's going on outside? Now, before I went, into the house there was a roman candle fight going on but it was it was civilized okay it was civilized at that point i guess they ran out and some people went to get some more and i kind of forgot about it you know because I, I thought i was a mongoose at that point so i get up to get some fresh air and tell somebody about this amazing movie that i've just watched i open the back door and it is chaos there was a firefight it's it's reds and blues and greens flying all over the place. Somebody's on the trampoline firing off rounds. <laughs> one of the homies, Lane, who was on crutches at the time, has got two Roman candles in one hand, double barreling it. Now, my first thought was, this is irresponsible. No, that's a lie. My first thought was, bet not nobody had a stole mine. Now, remember, I'm 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 on one. So to me, this is this is this is beautiful. This is this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, imagine you was just watching a dope-ass movie, and then you walk outside and see Star Wars. You know what I'm talking about? And then, like, it was waiting for me. I saw Ash running across the yard, getting shot at by, like, three or four people. I don't know which one of them did it, but one of them things hit him in the eye. He did a corkscrew backflip that would make Simone Biles proud. The game stopped. We all approached Ash, some of us trying to no avail to stifle the laughter. Ash was hurt. I'm not going to be like, no, nah, he was fine. No, nah, he wasn't. It shot him in the eye. It was, he wasn't good. He wasn't okay. But he was well enough to see me standing there with his good eye and just say, shut up, Nate. <laughs> I told you. I told you. But you didn't want to listen to me. And now you got Roman Candle in your eye. He sat out the rest of the game. Oh, did you think we stopped playing? No, we did not. And then later we blew up some teddy bears on the baseball field. I'm, I'm not a role model. Just to make it clear.